Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. Chinese New Year is coming. Uh, one of the very popular dish uh, or I should say very popular fish during Chinese New Year. It is actually Chinese Pond Fruit. Now in Malaysia, you can actually find few types of Pond Fruit. You can find uh, Chinese Pond Fruit white pond fruit, silver pond fruit, black pond fruit. So among all the four, the silver pond fruit is actually the cheapest because that is usually rare, okay, in, in the case of Malaysia. So that's the cheapest. And then we have uh, some actually call it golden pond fruit for that particular fish. Um, it's actually relatively cheap, okay. And then we have what we call a uh, black pond fruit. Okay, that is also rel relatively cheap, which is a lot uh, more expensive is the white and also uh, Chinese pond fruit. Now, something I noticed very strangely, in Malaysia, Chinese pond fruit is the most expensive, then only followed by uh, white pond fruit. Uh, but if you ask me, the meat of the white pond fruit is actually more tender and more sweet than the Chinese pond fruit and um, but somehow in Malaysia Chinese pond fruit is more expensive much much more expensive uh, I think 1 kg if the if it's the larger size 1 kg then at least you are looking at 160 to 180 per kg this is the smaller size slightly lesser than 500 gram uh, I think I got it for perhaps about 1 kg uh, 120 ringgit so this fish is somewhere around 50 to 60 ringgit yeah now how do you differentiate between uh, chinese pond fruit or and, and white pond fruit is you actually can look at few things uh, first of all you can actually look at the the mouth here okay if it's uh, chinese pond fruit then this one will be more poking out the upper jaw if it's the um the uh, white pond fruit will be the other way around and then white pond fruit, the tail will be sharper, okay? So this is Chinese pond fruit here. And uh, surprisingly, in Taiwan, it's the other way around. They actually prefer white pond fruit. Uh, white pond fruit is more expensive than Chinese pond fruit. Anyway, to me, both are very, uh, very, uh, taste very good. The meat are both very sweet. And it, you can use it for steam or you can also use it for pan fry, okay? Or deep fry. Now, uh, if you ask me, probably one of the reasons why Malaysian likes uh, Chinese pond fruit tou chang is because tou chang is easier to find bigger size, okay? So it's not difficult, to, to, not too difficult to find the one kg size, which is the perfect size for most family. Mine is a very small family, so I'm just going to use the uh, 450 grams or close to 500 grams here. Okay, so I'm going to cook a very um, simple way sometimes. Uh, you, when you have some very good ingredient, you don't need very complicated ways to cook it. Just use some simple way to cook. So I'm just going to steam it and uh, put a little bit of uh, steamed fish sauce over it and uh, some uh, garlic, fried garlic, okay? So if you don't know how to fry garlic, you just uh, search for my video or any video from YouTube. Okay, so uh, first of all, of course, you need to wash the fish thoroughly and when you bought it it will still comes with some of ooh, <laughs> very slippery very fresh okay so uh, you will still see some a bit of uh, a very thin layer of the uh, scales okay so you can use actually you can even use your finger to just remove it okay you can use a, a spoon to just remove all all those things or then it will become like this okay almost looks like a, a, as white as a white pond fruit okay uh, and then after that make sure the middle part here it is also nicely clean yeah and what we want to do now is to when you you want to ease the uh, steaming process you can actually make few cuts on the body okay it's very stupid to cut a fish on a plate Ah, something I do stupid things. Okay. Yep. 
Okay, give it a few cuts on the body of the fish. This will expedite the uh, steaming process. Okay, beautiful. And then on the steaming plate, first of all, you want to put one layer of ginger. Uh, this is just to raise the fish, yeah? You can raise the fish so that the steaming process is more um, even, yeah? So you see, the fish is actually raised. And you can put a little bit of uh, ginger into the cavity. This will help to reduce the fishiness. Then you can sprinkle a little bit of salt over your fish. Do not, uh, I don't, I won't put a uh, white, uh, white pepper, okay? Just salt, okay? Then we uh, get ready our steamer. Okay, your steamer must be boiling hot. After you remove the lid, uh, let all this uh, weight release a little bit. The steam, yeah? Not weight, but steam, sorry. Okay, put the fish over. Let me take a picture first. Okay, then we are going to close the lid here. And uh, let it steam under high heat for this fish is about half a, it's about half a kilo. Uh, in my stove is not extremely hot. I would say somewhere around seven to eight minutes. Yeah, we will come back after this, under high heat. Okay, while waiting for the fish to be uh, steamed, to be cooked, let's make a very simple fish sauce here. Uh, fish, steamed fish sauce, okay? Uh, I'm going to put in about one tablespoon of uh, this is oyster sauce. Approximately two tablespoon of light soya sauce. A little bit of fish sauce. Fish sauce is extremely uh, salty. Just a little bit, okay. And one uh, nice cup full of uh, Saoxing wine. Okay. Few dashes of white pepper. Need a bit of salt. Just a little bit, a pinch. And a little bit of sugar. Okay. And you want to add in a little bit of oil. I'm going to use garlic oil. You can use um, sesame oil if you like, okay? Since I always have garlic oil at home. I always make my homemade garlic, fried garlic, okay? So about one teaspoon of garlic oil. And we are going to add in about three to four tablespoons of water. A little bit too much water just now. <laughs> it should be a bit lesser, yeah? Maybe I won't put everything. I will see later, yeah? I'll decide later. Okay, so you want to mix everything and let everything nicely dissolve, especially uh, the um, salt and sugar, yeah? Make sure everything is nicely dissolved under the sauce. Okay, once everything is nicely dissolved, then the this sauce is done. And we just wait for our fish. Okay. Okay, it is now seven minutes. Over high heat. My fish is not very big, so it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, just use anything, um, something sharp to poke it. If you can get through quite easily, then it is fully cooked. Uh, no, no, you can't really get through that first. No, I need to give it another one, two minutes. Okay, let it continue. Okay, this is after another two minutes. This is 100% cooked. My steamer always took a longer time. This is why I wanted to change my stove now. I'm already bought a new stove, so my uh, and just need to wait for the installation. Okay, so uh, look at all this fishy water. Okay, 
these are the source of fishiness we don't want them so we uh, after the uh, steam go away release a little bit we can carefully take it and bring it over to the other side okay so basically we don't want all this fishy water you either change a plate like me or you just uh, pour away the fishy water yeah use something use a tool to help you to move your fish over okay we don't want this uh, yep. okay then remember just now our steam fish sauce you can uh, gently pour it over okay i don't mind giving a little bit more sauce Usually they always complain my fish is not enough. My sauce is not enough. Okay, a bit more, force, more sauce today. Alright, and let's not forgetting our fried garlic. Okay, always make some fried garlic at home, yeah? So that uh, you don't know when you'll be using them, yeah? Papa always use it. Okay, it is that simple. But I'm telling you, it is going to taste so good. Alright? Okay, let me adjust, adjust this a bit. Okay, so uh, if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking About Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking About YouTube channel. Alright, so happy Chinese New Year to you all. Bye bye.